cleaned up the seal. We're gonna reinstall the seal back on. Снимаем эту защиту, надо амортизатор проверить. Okay, we'll be trying to install this brand new grill right now. The glue is dried up right now. After we, we had to actually work a little bit with it. So you have to transfer the gasket and everything. It's all got transferred. Just finished installing this amazing piece on this machine. It's gonna look so good. Look at that. We gotta clean this a little bit, but it looks so nice right now with the new one. And this is exactly for V12. It's got 12 moldings here. Only the rear we have some noise but the front is awesome you gotta loosen up that line it's probably gonna be a pain Very nice. Умеете, могёте. Got this line loosened up right there too. Как ты там говорил? Умеете, могёте. Yeah. Here we go. Well, we made a mess. We're messy as hell. <laughs> Look at all this mess. Dang. Well, but show these guys how bad this bushing is. You can actually move it back and forth. Kind of bad. Yeah, it's moving a lot. So we're changing that and we're gonna see if this BMW bushing is gonna work. Apparently people say that that works really good for this thing. It, it looks kind of too big, but I think it will be fine. We'll, we'll have to see how that works. Press this thing out using the press. It's pretty bad. This is what it looks like right now. And then we're gonna grab that BMW bushing. And this is actually BMW bushing right here. This guy. And we have to basically, it's too big for this to fit in the shock, but we have to like cut the metal, what I'm thinking. And yeah, after that, I'm gonna install it in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we're gonna be bringing this back right now onto the lift. And yeah, so there's some sad news actually. The bushings that we got, they're not working actually. One of them, like, we ordered a couple of them. We ordered like the um, the purple ones actually that the guy said that they work, but it's not actually like, it wasn't delivered like. And then the ones that are in the UK, it takes a long time to get them and the bmw bushing i mean people claim that it works but you have to like take off a lot of material so i don't know what we're gonna do so we got another good used uh part we're gonna install that it's not the best but in the future i'm gonna we don't have much time now but the bmw bushing it was basically we kind of destroyed it from trying to press it in when we didn't remove enough material so and there was another one locally that we found which is this one we're going to install it they're all the same just got to swap the lines and what else um yeah other than that i mean it's still gonna work for a little while and then this one we're gonna obviously keep all the parts we're gonna install it, another bushing in the future into this one but right now we just want to get this car kind of rolling as it sits you know so yeah this is, seems to be just fine for now oh, okay okay well cleaned it up as much as possible we're gonna this is a good used one we just swap the hose in and then this is the condition of that it's actually it's there's no play i mean it's tired but as of right now we just want to put this car back together and then later on we'll we have some more absorbers or shock absorbers to play with hydraulic struts i mean so now since uh the shock is empty i mean we didn't even have to loosen this spring and then he already put the nut on top okay and then as you can see we didn't have to remove the liner yeah, the only thing is if you're swapping the hose, you have to tighten it up there. Okay, well now we're using the jack to bring this control arm and everything up. Gotta make sure it goes in there. We got grease on the bolts and right here. Okay, so when connecting this line make sure you're really careful on cross thread this is the part that actually turns this part not this part but this part start by hand if possible and i already made sure that it's going in straight all right the line is tightened up and i also added grease here so it doesn't rust out in these spots and then this is still loose, not all the way tightened. Same with this one. Okay. We still have to do the top, but yeah, we're gonna lower it and actually have to, we're gonna basically tighten everything else. Everything is on the ground. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna keep lifting this up until the car is gonna wanna come off of the lift right here. And then I'll tighten those bolts actually. It's gonna be easy. The reservoir is still full. So we gotta start it up. So 
far so good. Do a test drive now after the SLS work. What an amazing machine! Suspension still holding up and everything. 